My name is Eve Harrison, I'm a composer um, and I've been working with um, Ruth, a choreographer, um, to create In Between, which is a collaborative research project looking at how music and movement work together. Hi, I'm Ruth Jones and I am a choreographer. We've brought our worlds of music and dance together and looked at the in between, what's in between our languages, what's in between our art forms, what is the theme in between, what does that actually mean? Um, and that was the starting point really. We've been working on um, finding a shared language, um, how to uh, compose music that inspires dance, but also how to take movement and make that into music. So um, Ruth had trained and taught in the Laban method, so I did a bit of reading and kind of finding out about that um, and taking those Laban efforts um, as motifs, musical motifs, and using that really as a um, inspiration for the different cells within the piece, a bit like you would do with a scale or a pitch set. Um, and then finding how to bring that back to the dance and make that into um, a kind of a collaborative piece. My name is Gary Farr and I play the trumpet and I'm one of the musicians in the In Between project. So the big challenge for me is to incorporate movement into my performance. Uh, in, my, in my job in, in an orchestra, I sit still on a chair and the music is presented in that traditional way, but this is anything but like that. Um, we're breaking down all sorts of boundaries and I'm really having to learn uh, how to move whilst playing and whilst kind of composing on the, on the hoof as well, which is a real challenge. I'm Claire Files and I'm a dancer with the project In Between. As a dancer, you naturally respond to music. Everyone responds to music naturally. Um, you know, a child, you put a piece of music on and they will naturally respond, anyone does. Um, whereas the other way around, I was really intrigued as to, you know, how um, a musician responds to a dancer. So phase two and three of this research and development pr uh, project has been with an an open, well it's been an open rehearsal with an audience at the art gallery mainly, so um, people are watching, that kind of gives you a different focus I guess, that someone's observing you rehearsing and it makes you be, I think, super clear about what you're doing. It's been wonderful working inside this Manchester art gallery uh, because the, the audience or the public have just been drifting in and out, so we sort of feel like we're sharing the whole process with them. We're not just stuck in a rehearsal room and then we're going to transpose it onto a, onto a stage in its traditional setting, but people are around us, we're performing with the audience in the round, and it's been fascinating to see the reaction on people's faces who've come in to perhaps you know, look at some artwork and then find a very sort of living, uh, breathing and developing process happen in front of them. Um, I think it's really interesting to work with audiences. Um, you get an instant response, even if it's just a feeling or a look or a question. Um, so it's been great to be challenged by um, audiences that have come to Manchester Art Gallery. Um, they've been present in everything we've done. Um, they've asked questions and that's allowed us to reflect um, a bit more honestly. I think you can get quite caught up in your own creative practice and um, get a bit navel gazing and then actually to have somebody there stops you doing that and says oh well, it's for you what do what do you think and how is what is your experience like um, so we've been working on incorporating that throughout the process and as we move forward with um, next steps I think the audience will become increasingly involved in what we're doing. Walked in off the street of Manchester and I just sat down on the floor and experienced this theme of in between and it was so incredibly uncomfortable as well as beautiful and interesting. Normally you just sat in an audience and the musicians are over there, the dancers are over there and that's it, you know. So this was like um, a real sort of assault in all the senses, yeah. In between is quite a term that anyone can understand. Um, or can at least imagine something about and I'm glad that we slowed down time and just tried to think about this thing in between because no one ever thinks about that. So Ruth and I knew we wanted to work together and, and looking for a theme um, we settled on in between because it forced us to be a bit more experimental, take risks, not go into that traditional collaborative, write a piece of music and then choreograph how you move to it. Um, it's really open and allows a lot of different interpretations. Yeah, Ruth and I are both up for challenging ourselves, getting out of our comfort zone um, and in between allows us to really explore 
what it means to um, create an honestly collaborative piece of music and dance.